Our first guest tonight is one of very few people who can say he played for the Rams and starred in Cloudy with a chance of meatballs, too. <laughs> he is host of the talent competition show, AGT Fantasy League. It airs Monday nights on NBC. Please welcome Terry Crews. <laughs> to see you. It's good to see you. When we embraced, it felt like somebody put a bunch of bowling balls in, in an outfit. It's nice and solid now, isn't it? Yeah, very, very <laughs> solid. You you work out, right? Oh, dude. I, yeah. First of all, it's my peace, man. I work out two hours a day, but I call it my spa time. You know what I mean? You it's, do. it's where I relax. It's where I get away from the kids. Uh, you know, I am totally in my peace. It's my fortress of solitude. Are you at home doing this? Yes, I have. You, my, I, I, you know, and when the pandemic happened, I created this whole home gym. I used to like to go to the gym and the whole thing, but now I'm all by myself. I love, love this. You place. play music? What are you doing there? Yeah, I put music, audio books, the whole thing. I'm, I'm my, you know, I learned to treat my body like it's a prime sports car. You know what I mean? And uh -huh. I go in there and tinker on it all day. Like, right. I can get this better. I can get that better. I'm, just, I'm 55, man. 55 years old. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have to give it up. You know what I mean? That's what I realized. You are a very disciplined person, right? You go to bed really early, I go, right? I go to bed at 8.30. 8.30 at night? Yeah. What time I, do you wake up? It's funny. My wife always says, <laughs> what are you, in fourth grade? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yes. I, but I wake up at like 4.30 a.m., 5 a.m. to get in that gym, and I'm in there doing my thing, and I'm already, like, I've done four hours of great stuff before the day starts. You know what yeah, I'm saying? And right. I just find that's my... I'm weird, man. I'm just and you don't man. eat either. I'm just a weird dude. What's your eating schedule? You know, I do intermittent fasting. Right. So uh, this is part of my weird schedule. My wife hates this, but I start at 2 p.m. I don't eat anything until 2 p.m. And my last meal usually is before I go to bed, like 8 o'clock or whatever. So I only eat, it's an eight-hour window, but I only eat within five to four hours. And it sounds like you're having a terrible life. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? This is the thing, man. And this is what I discovered. You know, I used to eat all day. I, I remember at 18, man, I could down three pizzas. Sure. And I'd be like, abs, like, ha, ha. And then all of a sudden, one year, I was back in my 40s, and I was like, oh, I don't feel good. What is happening, you know? And I realized I wasn't in shape. I was just young. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, You're just yeah. young. Yeah. And once you get older, you realize, wait a minute, I have to think about everything I'm putting in my body right yeah, now. Yeah, you're you know? thinking about it a lot. And uh, <laughs> that's, so this, is, this is right after Thanksgiving. But this is the thing, though. Listen, I love to eat. I love. I know you. You're having David Chang on, dude. I love David right. Chang. I'm yeah. a big restaurant fan. But I also love sweets. I and I work out so I can have the pound cake. So, so I can you can have... eat for that three and a half hour window a day. Yeah, and I right exactly. And I pay my price. And I go. I paid the price for this cherry pie. And damn it, get away from me. You know what I mean. <laughs> but this is the thing. I also learned what I can and can't eat. You know, like there were some things I, I I used to make my own ice cream, and I had this. I made some cream cheese ice cream. Oh my god. What do you so mean? Good. How do you make cream cheese ice? cream? Uh, oh, dude, it's 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 absolutely fantastic. Uh, you you use ice cream maker, but this is the problem. I had it right before bed, and it reacted with me like, I'm, when I say I farted all <laughs> night, I couldn't stop farting. It was into the gym morning. I was like, at 5 a.m., I'm still going. And my wife was like, no more cream cheese ice cream, man. That is banned in our house. <laughs> Oh, your poor oh, wife. Oh, it was bad. Oh, it the was family, bad. yeah. Oh, dude. I was like, I'm sorry. Ooh, uh. I know you played football in college. Were you in, like, the theater program also? You know what? No, I did not, but I had a radio show, Oh, man. you did? I, I did that, too. I know you were part of the radio world. I had a radio show in college, Listen, too, yeah. Every no Saturday. one was listening to our show. <laughs> I mean, like, literally, we tried to give, like, a pizza away to the seventh caller, and no callers came in. <laughs> oh, that's bad. Yeah, it was bad. That's bad. Uh, well, we, every Saturday night at Western Michigan University in Kalamazoo, uh, we had a show called Darwin's Theory. Now, my best friend's name was Darwin, oh. and he was the DJ, but I was like the MC, and it was called Darwin's Theory, and we would play music from 11 p.m. all the way to 2 a.m. 
And dude, it was so much. Everybody fun. listened to it. Every, well, it, it was. In fact, at the time, Kalamazoo was all you know pop radio, but we would play house and hip hop. And it's back when hip hop wasn't all out there, like right? It yeah, is right now. But we would play this stuff, and we would get the twelve inches, and we'd play all the mixes, and and he would mix them. It was so much fun, man. That's yeah. There's nothing more fun than that. That's and then the you best. get feedback from your friends, and you feel like, wow, something exciting's happening. Here. Well, yes, and it was like because people noticed us. We had a we had a like a, a calling and a following. And I remember, you know, we didn't make any money, but it was like a party every Saturday night. Right. And it got so bad that people wanted to come on. And so we had like friends. We had friends come through, and they were like, "Yeah, yeah." But we had one guy. This dude got on the mic, and he starts calling people out, like, "You, yeah, this dude, you owe me money, and this dude, you ain't nothing." I was like, "Hey, hey play the song, man!" You know. <laughs> and dude, and we were like, "Oh, well, we, you know, we dodged the bullet, right?" This dude comes back. He's got a black eye. He's he beat up, man. He's got busted lip. He's like, oh, man, you can't say stuff on the radio, man. You know what? If he'd been on my college radio show, he would have been fine. <laughs> Terry Crews is with us, America. AGT Fantasy yeah. League. Uh, we'll be right back. Terry Crews is with us. He is the host of the AGT Fantasy League, which you can watch Monday nights on NBC. How long have you been doing the Fantasy League? That's... A new thing, right? Well, yeah, this is brand new. Right. Fantasy League is new, but I've been hosting AGT since 2019. 2019. Yes. And what is the difference between the regular show and the Fantasy League? Well, this, well Fantasy League is different. You know, you know the judges, they always are kind of like competing on the regular show and the whole thing. This time, it's no, mis you know, there's no hiding it. It's all a competition. Between it's, them. It's, right. And it, it makes things interesting because now, just like fantasy sports, you have your team. You have your act that's on your team. Gotcha. And it, it competes against the others. Clever. And these guys are going at it, man. It's really wonderful. You got Simon, you got Howie, you have um, Mel Heidi B. and Mel B. And right? Heidi and Mel B is back. Which Who's is your wonderful. favorite of the group, of the four? Simon. Simon's your Simon, favorite? Simon is my man. You know, Simon handpicked me for this, man. He's He's been like my biggest champion. You are part of his fantasy. That's what I'm saying, yes! Yeah. It's like, it, it, it feels good, because he's like, Terry, I love your attitude. I love the what you bring. And I was like, yeah, that's all good, man. <laughs> You're like, it's all good. I have to be bed in bed in a half an hour. <laughs> Oh, dude, you know, when we, when we film past 8.30, I'm all like, hey, <laughs> I swear, I do it with one eye open, like, hey, y'all. The one that's on camera is always open, you know what I mean? Most people don't know, I happen to know this because I asked you about it once, that you are bald by choice. Exactly. You could have hair if you wanted to. I have a head full of hair. I shave it every day. Every, every day. Every morning. That's part of my weird discipline. When did, you, when did you decide to do this? Well, this is the story. It's kind of crazy. It was back in 1991. I had the most beautiful flat top you could imagine. Oh, really? I'm talking, flat it top. was angled. It was beautiful. I got married in it. Like, you could see the pictures. It's faded up. It's beautiful. My wife would pull a blonde streak in it at times. She was a hair stylist, so she would put a blonde streak up. It was beautiful. And then I went to the NFL, and I was like, oh, me and my high top is so beautiful. And then I got cut. And so I was like, oh, man, barbershops cost money. And I had no money. I mean, I literally was broke. And I said, oh, my God. And then Michael Jordan was coming around, and his bald head was sexy and all the things. I said, I'm going to be like Michael Jordan. And I cut my hair off. I, I just went, I'm going all out. I'm shaving it off. And I was so disappointed. Were you really? Bro, wait, first of all, you got to talk about, I didn't know it was lumpy. <laughs> I had no idea there was lumps in my head, right? There's a little bit of walnutiness oh, going no, on. Oh, right no, I thought, is this the brain? Is, is this my brain? <laughs> and then it was like, you know, it was wintertime, so my face was a different color than my head. <laughs> And I was like, what is happening? My wife was like, what did you do? <laughs> I'm like, can't go back now. And I wore a beanie and the whole thing. But what happened was we got used to it. And people were like, hey, man, that looks kind of tough. There you that go. kind of hardcore. Uh, you look lumpy hair. You like a bulldog. <laughs> I was like, yeah, really? Really? Thank you. And I, dude. I would love to see what you look like with oh. hair. We have some, uh, we have some wigs here. <laughs> OK. Yes. Would you mind? I would love to. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is, I think, this is a Beatles. Um, uh, I'm going to go down with it. This is like the Beatles look here. Let's see. Oh. Not bad, actually. 
I'm bad at all. Uh, this is, oh, okay. this is this is a good one. This is a Star Wars theme. All right, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Dude! I invented rock and roll. I invented it. What about, what about country music? Oh, let's go, let's go, let's do it. Here we go. Uh-huh. Hey. That's what he's doing. <laughs> I dig it, man. I dig it. I got one more for you here. Oh, oh this me. is a classic. This okay. is a classic from the 90s. Hit me. Probably the most famous hairstyle of, of the 90s. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you the Rachel. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> You know what, maybe we're at home, give your wife a little thrill. I will. I, oh, yeah, this is good. We're going to do this tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Jenny. It'll be over at 8.35. <laughs> um, AGT Fantasy League, Mondays at 8 on NBC and the following day on Peacock. Terry Crews, everybody. We'll be back with Chrissy and